Hey class, welcome to the presentation and today we're going to have a short lesson on natural logs and using them in our uh, condensing when we want to solve for an equation. So let's get started. So if you remember earlier on when we were talking about exponential functions, we talked about e. Now e was some number like 2.718 and it went on and on and on and as Chapel said in the class, it's just like pi, it's just another number, we just represent it with in e. So when we have e, since it's just another number, we can use that as a base of a logarithm. So instead of having something like log base 5, it would be log base e. Whenever we have a base that we have a e in, we're going to call that log a natural log. So go ahead and fill in that blank on your guided notes worksheet. Instead of log base e, we're going to say ln. And when we say ln, that's just shortened form for natural log. So log base e, we're going to write as ln, and vice versa. And uh, thankfully, both e and ln have buttons on the calculator. If you look at your calculator, if you press, you have two e keys. One of them is by the division key. If you press second divide, then you'll get e, and then you'll have to raise something to that. But then if you already want to raise something to an e power, you can just press second and the uh, law, the the ln key right here, and that'll get you e, and it'll already be raising something to a power. So you can just type in whatever you're raising to a power. So this stuff is pretty simple. Um, if I have ln of four, so that's the natural log of four, that's going to be the same thing as saying log base e of four. So log base e of 4 is the same thing as ln of 4. And if we type in our calculator, we just hit ln on our calculator, 4, and we get 1.386. If we have ln of 0 0.05, that's going to be the same thing as log base e of 0 0.05. Uh, then same thing as ln 0 0.05, natural log of 0 0.05. Plug that in your calculator, and you get negative 2.9. Nine, six. All right, for C, we have natural log of one fourth. Again, what's our base going to be here? Well, if it's a log, it's going to be base E. So the natural log of one fourth, which is negative 1.386. All right, now these other applications are just with E. So in our calculator, what we're going to do is we're going to press that second ln key and we're going to get that E and it's going to raise something to the exponent. So if I raised if I had e and I raised it to the fifth power, it's 148.413. Then I have e raised to the one fourth power, I'm going to get 1.284. And then if I raise e to the negative 2, then it's going to be 0.135. So all we're doing here is we're just plugging it in our calculator because we're going to need to learn how to evaluate these things when we're solving for functions. All right, so we have on your worksheet a chart, and this is going to guide us through, like it did yesterday, on what to do if we have one natural log, two natural logs, or no natural logs. So if we have one natural log, then we're going to swoosh or change a base to solve. So we're going to do the inverse of natural log. We're going to do an exponential on both sides. If you have two natural logs, if you can cancel them out if they're on different sides of the equal sign. If you only have one and one, you can cancel them out. And they have to have the same base. Well, if they're natural log, they're obviously going to have the same base because their base is E. If you have no natural logs, if you have no natural logs, then what you're going to do is you're going to ln both sides. So if there is an E, you're going to make that a natural log. So let's look at exa some examples. So I have in D, I have e to the x equals 5. Well, just like my older problems, I have a variable in my exponent. If I have a variable in my exponent, I need to get that variable down. So what I'm going to do is I use logarithms to solve for exponentials. Remember, they're inverses of each other. So I'm going to bring that e over, and it's going to be x equals log base e of 5. All right, well, and remember, the base of my exponential is the base of my logarithm. That's how that worked. Now, log base e, we already know that's, we already know what that is. That's 
natural log. So x equals ln of 5, and then you plug in ln of 5 in calculator, x equals 1.609. Pretty simple, right? All right, what if there's a bit more things? So in E, we have uh, E's being multiplied by 3, and there's an addition sign going on. Uh, lots of things looks like it's happening, but we can solve this just using simple algebra. So I got to get my E isolated. So I have that plus 2 over there. I want to get rid of that 2. So I'm going to first deduct 2 on both sides. So I'm going to get 3E to the 2X equals 8. Now I have that 3 right there in front of the E. I'm going to get rid of that 3. The operation between the 3 and the E is multiplication, so the inverse of multiplication, division, divide both sides by 3. I have E raised to the 2x equals 2.67. Now I have a variable in my exponent, so I need to swoosh. 2x equals log base E of 2.67. So I already know log base E is another way of saying ln, so natural log. And then I just plug this in my calculator, and I get x equals 0 0.982. So just a little bit of algebra went around here. All right, e to the x equals 23. This one's pretty simple. Variable on my exponent. Let's get that e. I need to bring it over. So I'm going to bring that e over. And since we've already discussed, log base e is going to be ln. So that's going to be just natural log of 23. And the natural log, when you plug it in your calculator of 23, is 3.135. All right, so on your note sheet, I want you guys to go ahead and try this out. Now, if you don't have a graphing calculator, you can still use Google and go to raise e to a certain power or use ln or just leave it in unsimplified form. So if you're going to divide something and you can't divide it, you can just leave it in unsimplified form. But when you come into class tomorrow, you can just plug it all in the calculator and you'll get your final answer. And we'll go over it in class. That's how I'm going to check that you've been watching these videos. All right. Now, if we have two logs, first we're going to condense and then we're going to solve. So the same properties that apply to logarithms apply to natural logs. Natural logs are just another form of logarithms. They just have E in the base. So if I have ln of 5 plus ln of x, they have the same base, E. So I'm going to combine those. The addition between them tells me that it's a product property. So it's going to be ln of 5x equals 4. I know that ln is just another way of writing log base e. So I have a variable over there. I've got to solve for my variable. Bring that e over. I'm going to get 5x equals e to the fourth. And all I did here, guys, was I converted the log to an exponential. And then e to the fourth is 54.598, divide both sides by 5, and you get x equals 10.492. Alright, in this next example, I have ln of x minus 1. What's ln? Log base e. Alright, now we need to convert this to an exponential. Bring that e over. e squared equals 7.389, and now you're going to add 1 on both sides to solve for x, and you're going to get 8.389. All right, example eight. So again, product property, so that means we're going to combine. Let's combine those two logs. They both have the same base, which is e. So we have ln of 3x equals 0 0.05. I got to solve for that variable. Therefore, I'm going to do exponential on both sides. Bring that base over. The base of a natural log is e. So 3x equals e raised to the 0 0.05. And then we have x equals e raised to the 0 0.05 divided by 3. The reason I wrote it like this is because this is how I want you guys to present it if you don't have a calculator at home. So on the, these next problems you're going to try out, try to write it out like this if you don't have a graphing calculator that you can't use E on or you can't access Google for some reason. So try these out and these are your next problems. I believe these are the last problems on the sheet. And that last one is actually a bit of a challenge problem so see if you can get that done and there's one extra step involved. And that'd be great if you can actually uh, get that problem done. So, guys, please, please, please study for your quiz tomorrow. It's on this entire packet. So, if you need any help, you can go back through the other videos. Just look at certain parts. You don't have to rewatch the whole videos. You can just look at parts if you're confused on something. I really want to get this quiz up to the highest grade that we've ever gotten in this class. All right. Have a great day. Make sure to fill out that notes packet, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.